We're here today at the Columbia restaurant. It's in the Ebor location. It actually has seven locations total. It started in 1905, and so it's almost about 120 years old. It's actually the largest Spanish restaurant in the world, according to their website. Um, but it's one of my favorite spots for really, really good Spanish food. So we're gonna take a look inside and grab a very delicious dinner. So to start, what we're starting with is the Spanish bean soup, getting a bowl of that. And then what you really need to get is going to be the Columbia's 1905 salad. I'm honestly not a salad guy at all. I don't, I don't like salads particularly. It's just like a lot in it. But this one does have loads in it. Uh, then of course you get your bread and your Cuban bread and olive oil. But one other thing that's really delicious too is going to be their mojitos and their sangria. So highly recommend those as well. But that would be a good game plan to start off the meal. And then of course, you know, we'll get to the main meal too. we're gonna get the paella or you're gonna get the big portion because honestly after the salad after the bean soup after all of this cuisine bread soup uh, definitely get a little full but we also want to save some room for dessert which is the one so definitely keep an eye out for that one too sorry i almost didn't even want to film this because i just want to eat it looks so freaking good but um we got the paella for the main course again and what you've got in your paella is going to be your clams, your shrimp, you've got mussels, you've also got scallops, and then you've got your calamari, which is like your mini octopus. Um, but this is one of the dishes they're most famous for, so if you're coming for a main dish and you want to get something classic, I definitely recommend this. Let's eat. Oh, well, but, uh, so dessert wise, you're going to want to get a cafe con leche and then you're also going to want to get the flan, which they are known for. It's absolutely delicious. I'm about to take my first sip of this. We've already taken a bite of the flan before you guys even saw it. Um, so sorry about that. But it is way too good to wait up. But honestly, this coffee is what I was looking forward to the most. It's like so rich in flavor, it's so bold. It's more of an espresso roast. And um, it's like the perfect cappuccino for me. I love that. It gets everything down when you eat too much. So, yeah, cheers to that. So if you're in Tampa, even in the Tampa Bay area, even if you're staying on the other side in St. Pete, I think that Columbia is a must. Now there are two locations. There's one here in Ebor, which is the one you just saw. There's also one in Clearwater. I think the one in Ebor here is better, in my opinion. It's also the original location. But for the environment that you get, the quality of food, the entire experience, for my personal opinion, is well worth the price. 
Yes, it's a little bit pricier, but again, what you get is definitely worth it. So if you're in the area, definitely come check it out. It will be a dinner you will definitely not regret.